Ciao everyone, welcome back to another slow fashion video. I hope you're all well. Today I wanted to share other sources of inspiration for personal style that don't involve, you know, celebrity looks or magazines or Pinterest or Instagram. Not that there's anything wrong with those sources of inspiration, I still use them all the time, but I came to the realization recently that I am inspired by so many other things that aren't necessarily outfits. And these things are often more easily translated to my closet and coming up with different outfits because I'm not so focused on what someone else is wearing. So I wanted to share these sources of inspiration with you today in the hopes that you know, maybe maybe they help you come up with some new outfits in your own closet. They might not all resonate, but you know, maybe a couple of them will, who knows. If you like this kind of content that encourages creativity instead of consumption, hit the subscribe button. It's just right down there. I would love to have you join. Uh, you can also find me on Instagram, which I'll leave right down here. And I'm also always selling tickets to my live Shop Your Closet events where we do it all interactive and in other people's closets. One of our guests whose closet we'll be shopping is a slow fashion designer, the wonderful woman behind the label Laura Jean. I'll leave the link for tickets in the description box below and let's get started. My first few sources of inspiration can actually be found in your own home. The first is your closet itself. I've mentioned this before that your closet carries so many clues to your own personal style and the things that you already might love but haven't taken the time to figure out why or what exactly they are. So go through your absolute favorite pieces and identify the elements of style like texture, color, print, fabric, and comfort. Understanding those elements that you truly love can allow you to create a blueprint of sorts for future outfits that you want to build. If you're looking at your closet and you're like, mm, well, there's no clothes that I love in there at all, go through previous photos of yourself where you loved what you were wearing. Even if it was from like ages ago, you can still pull out key elements that allowed you to feel good. It's like a little bit of detective work. Another key inspiration piece that I think we overlook so often, especially because it's not very glamorous or sexy, what is it that inspires you about your daily life? Or what are the moments of your own lifestyle and your own days that really bring you joy and happiness? Ultimately, in order for us to love and wear what we have in our closet and to stretch our creativity with what we already have, our clothes need to actually be functional and work for our lives. And I often find it's including that functionality piece that brings a lot of interest to an outfit. So that's, I think, where this whole like sneakers with dresses and skirts came about is because they were just practical and at the same time, it looks great. Okay, now for the external sources of inspiration. When we were just coming out of our last lockdown here, one of the first places that I went to was an outdoor restaurant. And it really got me thinking about the type of restaurants that I like to frequent and how specifically I chose the restaurant based on my own personal taste and aesthetic. So things like whether the decor was really minimal or did it have a lot of flair or a vintage vibe. Even the food on the menu itself, was it hearty or was it the really modern dishes with like a leaf and a lemon drop and they charge you like $500 for it. While it might be difficult to exactly translate a leaf and a lemon drop into your wardrobe choices, it can be so helpful to draw out specific elements like a lot of negative space perhaps on a dish or very minimal fine writing on a menu. As I was daydreaming about my next travel adventure, it also got me thinking about the countries I like to visit. Or if you're not someone who does international travel, it could even be about the surrounding areas around your home that you like to spend time in. Are you more of a nature person where the vibe is more organic and serene and you like being surrounded by the colors of nature? Or are you someone who prefers an urban setting where there's a lot of noise, maybe a little grit or edge? 
all of these things can be translated into our closet and how we wear our clothes. And I'm not saying you have to really stick to one aesthetic. Humans are so complex and we can have contradicting loves and aesthetics. Another source of inspiration is our art. How do you like to consume your art? Are you more of a music person? And if you are a music person, what type of genre do you prefer? Again, while you don't have to pigeonhole yourself into a certain type of musical genre, trust me, I love all types of music as long as it's good, but a lot of times music and art make us feel a certain way. And sometimes it can be an interesting challenge to see if you can translate an emotion to what you're wearing. Who knows, that might be a bit of a stretch, but I've definitely changed what I wear based on what music I listen to in the morning. So it definitely does have an impact on us. Finally, I know I said I wasn't going to be talking about Pinterest and Instagram sources of style inspiration, but one thing that I have found to be incredibly helpful when I am looking for inspiration on these online platforms is to look beyond my little circle of influence. Because of like the almighty algorithm, what we like is constantly fed back to us. So I think we always end up in this little echo chamber of things that the algorithm thinks we're going to like. And that can become very insular and kind of close us off creatively. So I actively seek out influencers who are outside of my style aesthetic or who are outside of my sustainable influencer bubble. Yes, that means sometimes I like photos or I follow people who are wearing and promoting fast fashion, which is not fantastic because I really wish they would stop doing that and stop promoting overconsumption, but I'm still able to pull very different elements of style from them that I can just apply to my own closet without having to shop. So even though their aesthetic might be very different from my own, I do gain a fresh and interesting perspective on what I already have in my closet. So there you have it. Those are all my little interesting sources of inspiration. Let me know in the comments below if you have a source of inspiration that is not fashion related. I think we could all benefit from that. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or if you learned something new, hit subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to grab a ticket to my next live Shop Your Closet studio. It'll be so much fun. And if you have questions about it, uh, drop me a question in the, in the comments over here or send me a DM on IG, whatever you like whatever floats your boat. Send me a carrier pigeon. Who knows? Maybe I'll get it. Okay.